This will be a video comparing the Yoshua and the Obsidian. First thing you'll notice is the range of the gun on the Yoshua is quite a bit longer. The one on the Obsidian, now let's see what happens when we have them chase the same point. Compare the rate of speeds. You can see the Obsidian is slowly catching up to the Yoshua. Now the Yoshua can shoot at it. It still has a bit of ways to go. See there's a very slight speed advantage for the Obsidian. Uh, finally halfway through palms, the Obsidian gets in firing range. Now let us compare the hoplite versus the obsidian. We can see the fire range of the hoplite is even further, is even larger than the one on the Yoshiva. And now let's see if we make these two units chase pointing the exact same direction. In this case, you can see the hoplite's actually even faster. So obsidian really has no chance. Now let's check the mongoose versus the obsidian. You can see the mongoose has a slightly lower firing range than uh, the hoplite, but still quite long. Let's make these two units run across the map. Now you can see once again the mongoose is faster so the obsidian has no chance. The other T2 tank from Aeon Blaze, let's see how it fares against the Yoshiva. Definitely uh, a cheaper unit but slightly lower range. Let's check out the speed comparison. see the blaze is a little faster. So if the blaze wants a fight from a Yoshua it can get it. Comparing the cyber and the hoplite versus the blaze you can see the hoplite definitely has the range. Let's check out if it, the blaze can catch up. It's very similar speeds in these two units. See straight across the map. It almost seems that the speeds are identical for these two. So if the hoplite's out of the range, the blaze is not getting in range. Comparing the mongoose to the blaze, we see a pretty big range advantage on the mongoose. Let's see if the blaze can catch up. Once again, it looks like they have quite similar speeds. The blaze perhaps can't start catching up after a very long time. 